Okay, um, yeah, my name is Michael, and you probably don't know the company Hakon. It's actually the monopoly here in Germany and in, few, uh, in, in Europe because they have all the timetable data. So um, every API or application or the most of them comes from this single company. And this is a problem. Um, everybody knows that uh, a monopoly is not good for innovation. And I think every presentation project today is proof of that. So um, my question was, can we, can, can we take the core of that, uh, the routing, the, the routing uh, company need an API for, uh, can, can we do it by ourselves? So here's a PDF um, of, a, of a paper uh, from um, the Castro Institute of Technology, I think it's from 2013, and also somewhere on the internet I found an unofficial Deutsche Bahn GTFS feed. By the way, uh, it would be great to have an official uh, GTFS feed. Um, and what I did is during the six hours in the hackathon, I built a GTFS parser. Uh, this is horrible. And uh, I built a function called this extract. And what it's uh, getting is a uh, start day and then fetching all the um, timetable data for just the next uh, seven days. Um, but it's all the long distance trains. And this, I, I can show the JSON looks like. Um, there's all the uh, stops in there, the roads and the services and the trips. And the funny thing is you can compress it down to 62 kilobytes. These 62 kilobytes are all uh, long distance trains for the uh, next seven days. And I also built a web application um, that's doing the movie uh, in the front end, in JavaScript, uh, based on the, on the paper. And it works offline. And it is quite simple and really, really fast. Um, so um, I can show you that um, um, usually you have something like 12 milliseconds for rooting. Uh, if I have two fingers, I can <laughs> No, maybe not. It's, yeah, I can. Yeah, whatever. Um, but, but just say uh, starting geoposition at the end of the geoposition then finds the shortest path uh, through that or the fastest um, uh, connection between that. And uh, I put everything on GitHub. And I called it Rooting.js, uh, I put it under MIT, so if your application needs some kind of a rooting or even an offline rooting, you can use the code. The code might use some documentation and comments, and in the end I say blockchain and as a service, and thank you.